Hey, what's up, Vinyl Community? It's Tone, and I'm back uh, real quick to do something I rarely get to do or rarely have time to do, and that's a contest. Um, this is a contest. It's a travel-themed contest from uh, put on by Randall Nelson over at Randall Nelson. Randall's a fantastic member of the VC. He's only been in the VC a short amount of time. Um, I believe he's very well respected. I respect him as a collector and as a person. Fantastic human being, great personality, well-spoken, easygoing, and shows fantastic records. He's got an extremely eclectic taste, which I love because I do too. And um, this is to celebrate his 200 subscribers. So congratulations ahead of time, uh, Randall. Uh, and I hope you get a billion more. Um, the contest is really simple. It's three prompts. Uh, and I'm just going to start in with the prompts to get this over with really quickly because the last one I'm going to show have a quite a bit of an explanation why. Um, the first prompt was to show a album from a band that is from your city. Well, I am from the city of Los Angeles. Um, born in Metro Los Angeles, grew up in North Los Angeles, and currently live in Metro Los Angeles. Uh, in, here in the San Fernando Valley of LA. And uh, when I think of LA bands, I could pick a crap ton of them because, you know, we grow them here. This is the music capital of the world, um, entertainment capital of the world, and they just pop up out of everywhere. But when I think of LA bands, so many pop up, but one of the bands that always pops up is this band here, and I love this band, one of my favorite bands ever, and that's the band X. Uh, this is a mid-80s, I think it's 84, 85 release. Uh, this is kind of a crossover album for them. However, uh, without losing their mojo, uh, they were still X. And um, it's a fantastic record. The single off this was Burning House of Love. Uh, I remember as a little kid when, you know, it came out and K-Rock would play it all the time. Uh, and uh, so, yeah. X, fantastic. Uh, I was going to pick another album by them, but that album was had a title, has a title that would have knocked out question one and two, and I didn't want to do that. Um, so yeah, X, I'm sorry, Ain't Love Grand is, is the title of the album. Put it over here. Next one was name an album or show an album that has a title with the name of your city in it. I believe that's the question. Um, so I'm going to show an album that is probably in all technical aspects of live shows. Uh, it doesn't matter what genre of music that you like, what genre of music that you're used to, genre of music that you don't like. Um, this album is it's un indisputable when it comes to measuring it up against all technical aspects of what makes a live show really, really good in terms of a recording. And that album is, I'm gonna take the policy off, George Benson's Weekend in LA. Fantastic record. It is a gatefold album. This is an original pressing. Uh, 1978 on Warner Brothers. And uh, again, I'll say it again, with every technical aspect across the board that makes a live show recording a great recording, this holds them all. And of course, Weekend in LA, LA, Los Angeles. Fantastic record. Beautiful record. The hits, uh, it produced, of course, on Broadway. Uh, the single on Broadway came off of the live recording. Um, also, uh, gosh, we, uh, oh, It's All in the Game, I believe, was also very popular off of this, the live recording. And, of course, um, the song that was made famous by Miss uh, Whitney Houston was written and performed first by this man, and that is the greatest love of all, and he does a fantastic rendition. So here's my second prompt, and that's George Benson's Weekend in LA. Last but not least was show an album that um, has the name of a city or a song on it that uh, of a place that you have traveled before, a place that you want to travel to, or a place that you love traveling to. I think 
I think that's, I know the first one and the third one kind of are similar. I might not have that all correct, but you get the idea. You're going to probably think, what the hell is this? Um, the album I'm going to show is Maffet and Davies, October in Oxnard, Oxnard, California. Oxnard, California is the um, second to the most northern part of the greater Los Angeles area. It is located in what is geographically uh, branded as uh, North Los Angeles, um, which is basically encompasses all of Ventura County. Uh, Metro LA encompasses all of LA County uh, for the most part. Um, I'm a huge fan of novelty and comedy records and Maffet and Davies if you are unfamiliar with Maffet and Davies they're kind of like a country tinged folk duo but they have a little humor to their songs um little quips growing up if you're not familiar with Dr. Demento Dr. Demento is is, is still a radio personality he's only online now um who is the most famous is most famous for his show, The Dr. Demento Show, which was a comedy and novelty record show. And he has, he, he, for years and years and years, for decades actually, he was broadcast live and then syndicated after, uh, broadcast live in the mid 70s from a small radio station in Pasadena, Los Angeles. Uh, then moved to, in the mid 70s, to the world famous uh, rock station KMET. Uh, where he was broadcast live for four hours. I have all of those live broadcasts on file, and they're fantastic. Uh, in the late 70s and early 80s, even as a little kid, a little toddler, you know, four or five years old um, in the early 80s, I'm uh, listening to Dr. Demento on KMET. A friend of mine who I went to school with turned me on to it, and uh, I used to listen to it every Sunday. Uh, from 6 to 10. I used to go to bed early, of course, but I would listen to it on the radio while I was laying in bed. And um, I remember him playing October in Oxnard, which is kind of a quip at Oxnard. If you watch a lot of 80s and 90s sitcoms, Oxnard is always a butt of a joke. It's always a butt of a joke. I never understood why, because it's so beautiful. Beautiful beach part of North Los Angeles, just gorgeous. And um, I grew up in Oxnard, so that, that's why I love it so much. Uh, some things about Oxnard that make Oxnard special. Where is Oxnard? Oxnard, again, is in North Los Angeles in the geographic region of North LA. It is, if you look at a map of Los Angeles, M Metro LA, and the very farthest west, which is the ocean, the coast, um, and north. So northwest would be Malibu, California. On the beach, everybody knows Malibu from everything. So the next city up from Malibu is Oxnard. It's right above Malibu on the coast. And um, it is the, uh, let's see, what about Oxnard? Oxnard is um, the largest uh, city in North LA, Ventura County. It is the financial center of North Los Angeles, Ventura County. It hosts home to a lot of celebrities. There's a beach in Oxnard. I'm just looking at my time. There's a beach in Oxnard called Hollywood Beach and it's named Hollywood Beach because of Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin lived in Oxnard uh, on Hollywood Beach or on the beach and that area started to gain a lot of stars from the 20s and the 30s and it was branded Hollywood Beach right next to um, the big the big harbor in Oxnard it has two harbors and um, it's right in the big harbor right next to the big harbor and a lot of celebrities everyone from Sonny and Cher to Tom Cruise, to I, uh, I can keep going on and on and on about who has houses in Oxnard. It's also the headquarters for the Channel Islands National Park System. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that is uh, and don't realize this, California, Southern California, has is home or hosts an archipelago of eight pretty decently sized islands off the coast. It's a Channel Islands National Park system. It hosts, it's home to eight islands, uh, all the way down from almost near San Diego, a little bit north of San Diego, all the way up 
to just past Santa Barbara, California. Um, the headquarters for the National Park is Oxnard. Um, two of those islands are inhabitable, or I won't say inhabitable, but accessible by the public. Uh, one, I think San Miguel is the one that's most, the one that's most north that is uh, accessible. The other island is, of course, the world famous Santa Catalina, or what we call Catalina Island, which is home to a city in Los Angeles called Avalon. And Avalon is a city, a small city on the island of Catalina Island or Santa Catalina Island. Um, it's also the only place in the western part of the United States that is that is home to American bison. So you find buffalo roaming the island. How did the buffalo get there? Well, if you're into old movies, old westerns from the 30s and the 40s and the 50s, a lot of those movies were filmed on Catalina Island. Uh, and they needed buffalo. So they would ship on boats buffalo out to the island. And when they were totally done filming, they just left them there. So you can go and you can take a trip up from the city of Avalon to the top of the island, which is where the airport is. And there will be buffalo roaming the roads everywhere. And so that's the Channel Islands National Park, Oxnard being home. Uh, not to get too far off track, but I just wanted to share with you, Randall, specifically some of the special reasons. Since you are a travel fan, uh, I felt the need to share that with you. This is my third entry, Maffitt and Davies, October in Oxnard. That's it. Um, so congratulations again, Randall, on 200 subscribers. I hope it gets to 2,000 quick, and um, I hope that sufficed. See you guys soon. God bless and peace.